Hi, I'm Ray and you're watching Phone Arena's weekly Q&A show, where we answer your questions. And question number one this week comes from our user TechBizP08 and it goes like this. My question would be, what's so exciting about Keyline Pi? And does the current 2013 flagship still upgradable to that version? Well, there's been some development recently with regards to the next version of Android and it's been made official that it's actually going to be called Android 4.4 KitKat. And that's pretty much where our knowledge of the next Android ends because we have absolutely no idea yet exactly what features Google is going to bake in. There's been a rumor about a new kernel for better performance, but that's still just a rumor. Papa Smurf wants to know which smartphone features the best 1080p screen on the market as of now? And while this is a matter of personal preference, we believe that the 1080p IPS LCD screens of high-end smartphones provide the best image quality right now. In that line of thought, we would say that the HTC One has one of the very best 1080p screens out there, closely followed by the just-released LG G2 and even the LG Optimus G Pro. Unfortunately, the 1080p AMOLED displays by Samsung happen to be a bit too inaccurate when it comes to color balance right now, and their brightness output is also quite low, though if the company continues to advance its technology at the same rate, the AMOLEDs may soon enter the race. Our friend Xperia Droid has posted the following question. Do you guys think that BlackBerry is too late to release their upcoming flagship, the BlackBerry Z30? And do you guys think that BlackBerry will make a comeback? Well, in our opinion, BlackBerry was already too late when it was releasing the Z10 and the BB10 platform, though we're interested in seeing exactly what the Z30 will end up being like. Unfortunately, the Z10 and the BB10 OS failed at gaining any traction with consumers, which is why we think the famous Canadian manufacturer doesn't have its best days ahead at least not when it comes to its smartphone business. Omar98 wants to know, why can't Nokia go Android plus Windows Phone? Well, the reason why Nokia sided with Windows Phone in the first place is because its new CEO came directly from Microsoft. It was obvious that from then on, Nokia is going to act like Microsoft's own smartphone division. This state of things has been made fully official with last week's announcement that Microsoft is buying Nokia's devices division for just over $7 billion. If there was even the slightest possibility of Nokia adopting Android, it has now been squashed completely. We will conclude this episode of our Q&A with a very interesting question from our user Foley, who asks, do you think we'll see Motorola make a Nexus device or will it just be LG again? And while we can't be completely sure about this until Google makes it official, it looks like the Nexus 5 is going to be made by LG, with the G2 used as a base. We're not sure if the hardware specs will be left the same, or if there will be some differences like a slightly smaller display, for example, but we should know soon enough. As for Motorola, it has recently launched the new droids on Verizon, which are running mostly stock Android, though not completely stock yet. It's unlikely that the Nexus 5 will be built by Motorola at this point. For the time being though, it seems Google is going to hold on to its promise of keeping Motorola running as a separate company. And that's all for today's episode of the Phone Arena Q&A. Be sure to post your questions for next time right here below this video or preferably as comments in our Q&A post at phonearena.com, the link to which you can find in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and till next time.